Why hello everybody, welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. Now this is the long-awaited sequel to my favorite game of all time, Subnautica. That game, it, it had everything. It had horror, it had ambience, it had scenery, it had music, it had story, whatever what you want to name, that game had it why I'm so excited for the sequel Below Zero. I've been pl I've played this game a couple times since it was played it like when it first came out. I played it when one of the new big updates came out. But it, those, those times were a while ago. And I'm sure they've changed a lot of things about the about the story. But so we're gonna go back to four five four six V survival. Oh my god, dude, I've been waiting for this. This is the farthest that I can take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It oh, is it is. And Sam. We need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Whoa. Did you see what I'm talking about with this crap, dude? Approaching 45, 46 feet. Surface temperature is Drop five deployed. Well, that's not ideal. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Can we just make it two F and B at one of these games without crash landing on some random plane? Open up! Okay, get me out of there. Um... Okay. Are, are you sure that's gonna happen? Are you sure I'm going to enjoy my stay? I'm getting be attacked by fibbing meteorites and my fibbing ship that I used to get here is blown up. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to enjoy my stay. Holy smokes! That did not go as planned. Yeah, 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 don't say! I find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Okay, well... Wait, this is, this is, this is... This is... Already starting off strong. Um, now, when I played this back, it was before they had the whole temperature thing in the game, so I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna work. Oh my god, this is... I miss playing this game, dude. <laughs> it's so effing beautiful. Look at this crap. It's just gorgeous, this game, I tell you, dude. Look at the little pegus, little penguins. Peepers. And this time our little little pod is under the water, not floating on top of it. Can we get in? Not entirely sure how the water doesn't just flow in, but sure, we'll go with that. Logs and communications. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as basemates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know. It didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Okay, so apparently my character's sister has died recently, apparently. 
notice of death. Dear Miss Ayu, on behalf of Zestful and 4546 b Robotics Section Leader and Indra Cormac, President of Altera Transgov, I regret to inform you the death of Samantha Ayu. She died on planet 4546b, regrettably at the result of injuries sustained in an accident arising from negligence. Wait, is this the person that you played as in the first game? No, no it isn't, because the person we played on in the first game was a male. Um, not a female, so... I'm not entirely sure. Please allow me to communicate the most profound condolences for the loss of your sister. While further details are unavailable at this time, you will receive contact from the Department of Insurance and Recuperation concerning your responsibilities as, as next of kin. With regards to, pay, re, to repayment of damages and legal fees. If any questions, may file form hashtag Y7YSSSU49U2K and your query will be addressed in sequential order. Sincerely, Emmanuel Desjardins, I'm, I'm gonna butcher that name, 4546B Communications by a sin, Altera Transigo. I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. No. <laughs> right from the beginning. Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real world stress conditions. Listen, I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. <laughs> I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. <laughs> potato, listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the starchy tubers nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. Yes, these are the last messages from Sam before she dies, I guess. Four five four six B to Robin. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old timey space explorer? This is kind of like that, but it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> Well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, alterrorizing me. Mm. Things are going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian and hello to spy panglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. <laughs> I know it's not like me to just find a date let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but you, actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, it's it's probably not even a real thing, but anyway, um, I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xeno working, though. <laughs> I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but you've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you. Get into work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. So it looks like well, they 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 came to this planet to try and learn more about it. Um. Hey, Robin. I, I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky pot. Hey, the nickname actually fits that way. A cranky potato. I know he can be a handful, but. I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my panglings found something, something big. But Altera is just like nothing to see here. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead, bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line, my job, my safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. Guess you're one of us now. Like it or not, welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. So apparently Altera is our um, greedy piece of crap. Hey, Robin, I'm sorry my last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, 
and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this, I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Wow. Anyway, Pretty cold. I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said, but I, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, Robin. I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. And the cat should be called Potato. I admit it. <laughs> mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is ugly, dangerous, but, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, message me back, please. I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. So, Altera is trying to cover up this person's death as being her fault, not theirs, because they were the one who wanted to experience this frozen leviathan thing, and that was the, I'm assuming, the cause of her death, and they're, and they're blaming it on her own negligence, so. Altera's piece of crap. Arctic Survival on Maniac Online. Go to Adventure Mode, Xeno Worker. You have arrived in an Arctic climate. Your great expedition begins. Your Xeno Work PDA is equipped to monitor your temperature and vital signs. You have downloaded the Arctic Survival on Maniac and will also dispense advice from time to time. For the benefit of future adventures, your device will also record observations of findings you make. Travel checklist. Retreat to a safe environment. Administer first aid if required. Retrieve emergency supplies if available. Survey the environment for threats and resources. Find or construct a reliable habitat. Construct necessary survival equipment using the habitat's fabricator. Locate other survivors using the line of sight or the radio. Maintain physical and psychological health until rescue. Arctic survival on the, uh, the surface. Ventures exploring the surface in cold weather climates are advised to take uh, additional precautions. High winds can result in rapid onset of hypothermia. Keep an eye out for natural shelter or restore of hot springs. If wearing a sedated issue AEP suit, bodies of water may provide safety from extreme cold. Unexpected detours occur. You never know how long you'll be away from home base. Remember to pack a lunch, a toasted hot beverage if possible. We can't say this enough. Layers. Investing in a quality cold suit is certain to pay dividends and worth them safety. Remember, remember, when in doubt, don't go out. Okay, so... Okay, no, I'm not gonna read all this crap, I don't think. I don't think I need to. Well, sir, um, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Okay, so... Looks like we're in this now. Seems... Just as I remember it, dude. Holy crap. It's been so long since I've played this game. Got storage in here. Oh, it's nighttime now. Um, I spent a lot of time reading those things. Just trying to get us a little bit caught up on the story. Give me your flippin' fish. New creature discovered. Fish. Give me your fish. Give me, give me you as well. And you. Give me, 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 bunk, bunk, bunk. Titanium. Give me all of it. I want all of you. New blueprint synthesized. Give me, give me, give me. Like I've got a new PDA voice. It's different from the previous one. Oxygen. Nah, 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 nah. No sermon to the surface required. Minerals galore. Alright, let's make some water. 
Water. Give me water. And cook these hoop fish, please. So I need something to eat, dude. Calorie intake recommended. What do you think I'm doing, you stupid PDA? Okay. Nom nom. Vital signs stabilizing. Nom nom. Slurp. Okay, we good, we good. Put away this one titanium. Um, what was the thing that we got in here? Personal log minerals galore. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. Okay, well, looks like we got lucky with where we landed in this place. Um, oh my goodness, bro, look at this place, dude. Okay, we got creep vines. Oh my god, this is incredible. Beautifulness. Yeah, I need to get some actual oxygen tanks so I don't flipping die being two seconds under the water in this place. Hey, look at this. Look, look at this crap, dude. Beautiful. Are there any stalkers around here? My old buddy, old pals. Lead. Oxygen. Can you give me, give me, give me. Give me up, guys. I get. Oh my god, you cannot see anything up here. It's all just ice. I'm surprised that the one place that's actually warm down here is the water. I thought it would be, you know, the other way around, but I guess that kind of makes sense. It's just really, really cold and windy up there. I guess it is kind of warm under the water. Ooh, a sea light fragment. I don't have a scanner yet. That's probably something I need to go make, like, right now. That's, like, one of the most important tools this entire game is the scanner. Um, because I need that so I can actually, like... You know, scan. Dude, it is just so... It's like storming up here, dude. Straight up storming. Okay, we need... Oh, I need, uh... No, I need... How do I make batteries? Because I need batteries. Batteries... I need those ribbon plants. Where does one get a ribbon plant? Um, I don't actually know. Got plenty of copper. Need ribbons. I should have looked at the description of the living plant. Before I just sent out trying to look for these things. These definitely aren't easy to find as the ash of mushrooms by the looks of it. Oh, I think that was some down there. Oh, it was an iceberg over me. I don't I don't I do not like the idea of being trapped under the water because of an iceberg and drowning. That just sounds awful. But it's probably gonna happen at least once during my experience in this game. Okay, ribbon. Plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. I mean, I kind of already knew that, but I do appreciate the reminder. There's a lot of limestone around here, dude. Minerals galore. You really was correct about that. Less than more ribbon plants. Yoink, yoink. Oxygen. Yeah, I get it, I get it. I'm flipping drowning, I understand. It's kind of hard to not. It's kind of hard to forget that you're drowning, you know? Like, you don't really forget that kind of stuff. And in we go. Okay. We need battery. And then we need scanner. Nice. All right, I have a scanner. Scanning at last. In goes a battery and titanium. Out comes a scanner. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating flora and fauna, and I can't wait to learn about them. This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. 
That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. I mean, I kind of feel like I already know what happened to her. She got eaten by a giant sea leviathan. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Like, I'm just... Like, 90% sure that's what happened. Okay, well, now we got a scanner. Let's scan some things. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna read, like, the body of every single effing creature in this game, because we could be here for hours if I wanted to do that. Because, like, look at all this crap, dude. There's, like, there's everything here. Like, it's everywhere! <laughs> there's a lot of different things to scan and crap. I don't feel like reading the bio of them all. It's not like it's gonna be super duper interesting to watch you read the bios on at least 18 different creatures every single second. So, Oxygen. I think we're just gonna... I'm gonna scan something just to scan it. Maybe later, but I'm not really gonna worry about. Oh my god, am I gonna die? Please, 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 don't let me drown. They're like just started. I don't even have been be dying already. I'm sure there's be, be plenty of dying to come. Let's just save that for later, though. Okay, do I do I, do I swim faster with nothing out? Oh yeah, I definitely do. Okay, sea glide. This is what I need, so I can actually move at a speed that's faster than two mile per hour. I also need these. Because I need these to make your things. Blueprint synthesized. Give me all of your Oxygen. Give me. Thank you. Um Oh, I see some quartz down there. Oh what the fudge is that? Hello? What is you? Okay, this, this, this stuff will actually read Sea Monkey. That does not look like no Sea Monkey to me. Uh, I guess from the front it kind of does. It looks like... What the fuck? just took my scanner! Some of the wildlife down here is very... grabby. Get the fudge, get the fudge over here! No, 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 give me that. No, 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 I, I need that, thank you. Fudge off. Okay, these little Sea Monkeys, they're like real life monkey, they still crap for me. I guess that's why they call them sea monkeys. Makes more sense now. Okay, I wanted to try and get the sea glide blueprint before I leave this place so I can make that. Um, because that'll be really, really helpful. Because I'll actually be able to move around and... At faster speeds. And is that... Oh, oh no, that, that's an egg. That, that, that's an egg. Is that a sea monkey egg? That, that, that looks like a sea monkey egg to me. Identified egg. I think I, I think I, I think I think I might have just stole this guy's egg. I, I think I, I think I, I I think I just stole this person's this, this monkey's egg. And I'll leave very happy about it. Either that or just trying to steal my scanner. Either which, and it's not gonna happen. Here's our last sea glide fragment that we need. Nice. All right, let's get the fudge out of here. Is that another sea glide fragment? I get some titanium out of that, can I? Know how that works? Titanium is a lot more rarer in this game, because I haven't seen the game like just scrap metal that I can use to, like, you know, make titanium. I have to actually, like, find little pieces of titanium lying around, because... What the fuck is... What's, what's this down here? Hang on, let me get oxygen. There's, like, a little, like, pod down there or something. Some sort of, like, wreckage. Because in the first game, you crash-landed, and you could use, like, the scrap from the giant ship to build yourself crap in the different rooms of the different ships scattered around the map. Um, but that's how you got blueprints of crap. But this time, I don't really know how it's gonna work because I guess we're just picking up leftovers that Altera left. What the fuck is this? Oh, mobile vehicle bay fragment. Oh, this is a nest. Yeah, it's a sea monkey nest and they've grabbed like stuff. Okay, Altera PDA. Altera misplaces a one kilometer capital ship Aurora. Yeah, the Aurora crash landed, you numb nuts. Uh, let's go head back to the life pod and make ourselves um, sea moth and no, sea sea moth. Wait, no, no, it's not. Wait, sea 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 glide, not sea moth. Sea moth is something later. What the fuck? 
That's so flipping cool. You can actually see like the droplets of water landing in the water, I guess. Droplets of water. I'm sorry, could you repeat that for me? There's something big out there and it kinda wants to eat me, I think. It wibbles. Uh lubricant, copper wire, and a battery. Um, lubricant, I can make that. Yeah, let's make a flipping auction tank, please. Fiber mesh. I need pieces of creep vine for that, don't I? We got some titanium. Copper. And a couple resin plants. We also just drink this water. Okay, so we need a battery. I might need more copper for this, I'm not actually sure. Copper wire. And sea moth. Or sea, sea glide, I think. It's not sea moth. Sea moth is the big ship. The sea glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Okay, there we go. Now we can make. Oh, can I make flippers now? Yeah, fins. Give me them. Fins. There we go, fins. Got okay, cool beans. Um. I guess I'll put the rest of these things away. I don't really need them. Okay, we got Sea Glide. We'll put all this crap away. Hang on, let me look at this stuff. Um, news, I'll tell you my places. The Independent. Galactic News Interclassic Perspective. It's like a whole flipping journalist thing up here. Contact has been lost with the Aurora some 18 months into its journey to install a phase gate in the uh, uh, Arani arm. Report inside sources. A Terra launched the award to much fanfare almost two years ago. And recently announced a ship had arrived in the destination solar system. The award has repeatedly now missed within one routine check-in. As, as for a comment, a spokesperson from our Terra said communication with ships outside of the phase gate network can take weeks or months in ordinary circumstances and is commonly interrupted. The award was in good shape and ahead of schedule the last time they checked in. They have no reason to think anything has changed. Oh, something changed all right. Nonetheless, Marshall's emphasized that Altera cannot yet explain the loss of contact, and given the exceptional value of the ship and its mission, they are taking every possible measure to re-establish contact. Shareholders will be watching closely. Heed readers will remember, however, that Altera's network of directors have a history of leaking scare stories like this to the press, only for the transgov to rebound with positive news against the odds. Directors, shareholdings, and dealings are of the course not public information. There's these mischievous monkeys. Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. If I didn't know better, I'd say they're after my supplies. Oh, you think? Uh, research on a team monkey. A medium sized and intelligent herbivore which shows great interest in other life forms and their possessions. More researchers need to understand this item and its behavior. Two fingered like appendage each form are tipped with suction pads or basic object manipulation. Its large turquoise chest is made of rigid bone, is probably used as a, used as a ram, although this has not been observed. Sea monkeys roam the ocean almost playfully, largely fearless of predators. Seen to form a small nest where they hoard objects of interest for unknown purposes. Assessment. Investigate with caution. Okay, nest. Sea monkeys' nests are large, bowl like structures made of packed sediment and plant matter. The sea monkeys and use their wide, flat tails to pack the materials and form the structure of the nest. Sea monkeys are naturally curious creatures, often drawn to the metallic materials, which they gather to reinforce the size of their nests. So, I can find the nests to... Hang on. To find blueprints for the other thing, but I need to make this. Silicone, rubber, and titanium. Uh-uh. Open up the die. Um, silicone rubber. And titanium. Travel knife. Thank you. Oops. Well, that little... Oh, never mind. The knife just phased through my hand, okay? A little, little swa swa swa. I'll just let me scan all this crap that way. It's you know scanned. You can scan these things. Bunk. I still remember. I still remember when blotterfish used to be called. What were they 
called air air something airfish no air air i okay what the fudge is that oxygen is that is that is that is that like a stalker or something because i do not like whatever it is it's big and loud a air sacs at least it's called air sacs Back in the early stages of development of, this, of uh, the first game, the bladderfish would build air sacs. But now they're called bladderfish, which probably makes a lot more sense. I need to swa 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 on one of you. New blueprint synthesized. Swa 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 swa. Okay, there we go. That's enough out of you. Oh well, they, well, they actually like Oxygen. cuts it down. I think that's pretty cool. Oh wait, let me actually use my fucking sea moth. That I specifically created to move distances faster. You numb nuts. That is awful to look at that map. I hate it. <laughs> okay, um, we need to make some fiber mesh. And then no not that. I need titanium. And oxygen tank. Additional blueprints to your data bank. What now? The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. <laughs> deluxe and VIP breathing. What? What's, what's, how's there VIP breathing? How's that even a thing? Let's go ahead. I'm just going to notch on this, I think. There we go. Notched. You want to hit an escape. Try and close the menu. It doesn't work. Okay, well. We now have more oxygen. And we have sped. We got some pep in our step now. Now we can actually kind of explore a little bit more down here. We got more, some more ribbon plants. Give me those. Ooh. That titanium. Quartz will take that. I do not like the noises I'm hearing in this place. Like, I really don't. Like, it's not very nice. In any way, shape, or form. But it is very, very beautiful. I will, I will give it that. But you don't have, like, a little radio PDA thing. Tell us like, the location of certain parts of the ship, like we did in the previous game. So I guess we just got to just explore around until we find something. What the fudge is that noise? Like, what is it? I I need to know what that what that noise is. Like right now. Oh my god, this is this is not. What the fudge is this? A brine wig. <laughs> I do like, just like a lot of, like a puffer fish, so you just like puff up to scare peep predators with these things. Frost and ammoni heart? What? I don't know what the fudge these things are, but I'm gonna grab them. Well, they're like food. I don't know if I need them for anything, but I'm gonna take them. I can use them for some food along the way if I need to. Give me you. I didn't get any, like, PDA saying I learned something new when I grabbed them, so... For you. Simbayo. Maybe you. They're like little... They're, 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 they're little feisty ones. They're little squirmy. Punk. Um... Oh my god, oh my god, it's like... It's like, we're just hailing. This is not seem like a very, very suitable planet to live on. Why did why did we come here? Like, why did why did we come here again? Why why did we come back to this godforsaken planet? Oh, like the the, little, the penguins are taking cover under the icebergs and like the ice. It's so cool. Oh, I just grabbed the penguin. Hello? Can I just take you with me? Can I, <laughs> can I just keep him? A young penguin. Bye. So cool. And penguin and penguins. Okay, you hearing that crap, dude? That's like I've been mating whale. 
And it might actually be, I don't know. But what are these things? Coral ridges. I think these are the... Are those like reef backs or something? Are reef backs even on this part of the planet? I don't even know. Okay, well, we're back here. Um, can I make anything new with this crap? Not really. Putting air pump, but it pumps air to pipe. Like it's a starting point for a pipe chain. Make a compass. I need a wiring kit though, and for that, I don't. I need. I, even, I need silver. And I don't. And I don't got. I don't got that. All right. Um, I'll keep those on me for food reasons. I'm gonna deposit with this though. And we're already out of effing space. I'm gonna take it out by these guys. No, if I can just transform this into resources, it'll be a lot cheaper. So I'll make some lubricant. Um, we'll make some more silicone. Then we'll make some more lubricant. The rest of them. Just to free up some space. In here. Um, I don't really need to make any of this kind of crap. So, doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. Okay. Let's go some. Let's do some exploring. Because I need. Uh, I want to go find some crap. Find some new things. Okay, I want to go towards a, that, that sound because that's something. That sounds like something big. Means that you want to go towards it, right? I'm gonna find more of these nests so we can get more mobile vehicle bay fragments because it's like the like three finish option. Oh, well, that's cool. It's pretty neat. I can get auction from these little planties, these, these little plants of auction. Oh, ooh. Sea, sea truck fragment. Oh, I forgot about that. The sea truck. What the fudge is you? Arctic ray. That don't look like no ray to me. That looks like some. I don't even know what the thing looks like. Get another mobile vehicle fragment though. Oh, there's a bunch of crap Morning. down here. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, okay, um... More auction from these plants. I like how you can, like, that's how you, that's how you stay down here longer, these little... ...plants. Um, there's a lot of crap down here. There's some table core. I'm, I'm actually gonna grab this guy. I did not see a lot, a lot of this of around. Remaining. Um... And I know that's needed for, like, computer chips and crap. So I'm gonna grab some of this. Um, I need to go now, though. Like, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm going to drown. Oxygen. Am I going to make it up there? I might not. I might. I might not make it. I might. I might. I might. I might drown. Please make it. Oh yeah, make it. I, th I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Yep. What? A nut? What? 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 Do 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 what? That sounds like a distress call. Do you know Morse code? Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. I can't get. I imagine that's. I probably deciphered that Morse code. I'm not. I don't know Morse code very well, so. I imagine you could probably decipher that in the comments. Tell me what that means. But I imagine it probably means something. Um, I'm gonna eat a couple of these. Oh, these are old now. I'll eat them while I still can. Um, we got a bunch of PDAs. Altera. Disciplinary meeting. Fred, great to see you. Come on in. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no. You know me. Just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. Huh. Yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. Here's what I see. You're a team player. You want to get the job done. I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? 
Fred, the trouble is, not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. All the trips were work-related. It appears you transported tech for Lil, rather far out from her base. Lil needed to go deep, and she needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I... No more favors to friends, agreed? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. <laughs> okay, so this guy's been... The damn ugly thing followed me into the shallows. Didn't think something that big would follow me up here. Had a jettison the sea truck. Again. I guess I could try to go back for the parts when it leaves. If it leaves. I really don't want to sit in another meeting with Emmanuel. Manu, as he likes to be called. Ugh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo in peace. Or maybe we shouldn't have come to this planet even one of them. Maybe we should have stayed on Earth. And, you know, been like a delivery guy or something. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. Well, how am I supposed to know where the F it is? What will? I don't think we need to read any of this stuff. Oh, vehicle, sea truck. Sea truck is an advanced underwater vehicle with attachable module cabins for maximum adaptability in the field. Main cabin, small and nimble when, it, when unencumbered by additional modules. Main cabin alone is comparable in speed to the sea moth. A wide reinforced glass soon window provides excellent forward visibility while at the helm. Retractable helmets person share, no expense spared. Unlike the larger Cyclops submarine, the sea truck does not support the addition of internal modules like fabricators. However, it can be upgraded to enhance its speed, towing power, and crush depth, amongst other things. Rating speed, variable depending on cargo, crush depth 100, uh, 150 meters, upgradable, power, two times replier, or two replaceable power cells, okay, module cells, four persons, one plus. Additional modules. These spoke cargo modules can be attached to the rear of the main cabin, providing a range of powerful benefits available. Modules include fabricators, docking stations, habitation sections, and of course, plenty of storage. Additional cargo modules reduce the sea truck speed, maneuverability, and power efficiency. Additional modules can be jettisoned directly from the main cockpit controls to enable exploration of tight spaces or in case of emergency. The, the sea truck. Complete, competing products are trucking hell. Okay, so. We can try and find wherever that distress signal came from. It said it was at, what, like 200 meters? Um, I don't really know which direction to go. I don't have any, like, beacons in the game, no. It didn't give me any, like, location to go off of, so... I guess we'll just start wandering around until we find something. Oh, there's the last mobile vehicle wave fragment I needed. Give me that. Okay, there we go. So now we can craft the vehicles, but... An important part of crafting vehicles is, you know, having vehicles to craft. So we gotta find the last sea truck part that we need. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Did I ask? Um, whoa! What the fudge is that? That looks like a bone shark. Is that a bone shark? Oh, uh, it's a brute shark. Same thing, right? Um... Oxygen. I'm like... Looping this guy like it's DVD right now. Ow, fuck. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna die, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. Oxygen plant. Warning. Oh. 30 seconds of oxygen. Oh, my God. I, I made it. What the fudge is that? Um, um, um. Okay, get me the fudge out of here. Um, I survived by the skin of my own teeth there. Oxygen. I'm not- I'm not liking this. What the fudge was that? What- what- what the fudge is you? And who- Ooh, I don't know if I wanna go- I'm- What the fudge? What the fudge? What the fudge? Ah, ah, ah. Crypto Sukis, what the fudge? 
I want to scan you, Blizz. Okay, bye. 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 I was like, there's like a volcano here, dude. They're like... What the fuck is happening? Ooh, the music's kicking in now. Uh, I'm not Argent. Okay, silver, that's good. Um, hydrothermal spire. Um, I don't, I don't really like the look at that. And this is, this is kind of why. There's, there's another one. Don't seem very friendly. Can I get something other than titanium, please? What is this? Is that oh, that's lithium. Okay, so we can get lithium over here. Go away, please. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, let's get oxygen. Not, I'm not, I'm not liking this like at all. Really, I'm, 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 I'm really not. Um, I don't feel like dying. Not exactly on the menu list of things to do. Oh god, there's like a little cave down here. Oh god, why? Why does it have to be here? Warning. Passing 100 oh, meters. there's there's the Oxygen these things. Decreased. There's whatever the fudge they're called. Um. This alien technology exhibits a data signature that strongly correlates with the previously recorded distress call. What the fudge is this? But I can use this new data to identify where that call was coming from. Okay, there it is. Um, what the fuck is this? Uploaded to PDA. Um, there's this is okay. Well, we found alien crap. I forget what the what the fudge is the little alien things called again. I don't remember. I don't actually remember what they're called. I feel bad. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, am I gonna make it out of this alive? I undermine. There's another oxygen plant right over here. Is the um. The, the precursors, yes, that's what they're called. The little precursors. Um. Well, now we have somewhere to go. Which I guess we'll head over there now. To try and see what was going on with this whole thing. Let's make our way over there. What the fuck is that? Beacon signature detected. Unique identifier. Delta oh. Station Dock. What's this over Delta here? Station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Oh, wait, is that oh, the last sea truck fragment I need over there? Yeah, okay, now we're gonna make the, the sea truck. We'll probably get working on that once we get back to our little life pod. Advanced wiring kit. New technology this. acquired. Whoa, C truck death upgrade MK1. Here's the beacon. Um, I guess I'll, I'll leave this beacon here, I guess, so I can find this place again. We got coffee vending machine. God, if I'm flirting so much crap, why? Um, desk. Give me all of this crap. Trash can, I want it. Yeah, box. Disaffected water. I will be taking that. Those. Those. Oh, hold on. Um. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's cold in this place. This is a recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know what's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. I'm a little confused. These are the things that keep me warm, these things. Um, there's something that was talking right there. I'm not entirely sure what it was. Um, or, or, I mean, I, it some, sounded human, but I don't know who it was, rather. And I got a bad feeling I'm about to find out. Um, here's the radio tower. Ah, I'm stuck in the... Okay, I, I, can, I, can, I can just grab snow. Snowball. Yikes. Yikes. You got no arm. Holy crap. Let's get up here. Get up on up here. 
Alright, it's getting st storming, dude. It's storming. Um, crystalline sulfur. I will take that. Horseshoe shrub. Whoa, shrub nut. Shrub nut. Ooh. I'll eat these. Okay, there we go. Uh, this is another little generator over here. And sulfur, Altera PDA. Ooh, mineral, men, mineral detector. What the fuck? Um, we got new blueprint synthesized. We cannot make a mineral detector, but I guess it can help us help detect minerals. And I want to get up to the top of this radio tower. If I even can. I don't know who that voice was, but it probably isn't happy that I'm here. Because it said that I was, well, trespassing. And that usually means you want the person out, not going in. But I'm a rule breaker. I think we gotta go up here. What? Whoa! Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. Who the fudge is you? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay Can off I... my land. When is this your land? There's a whole effing planet. Since when is this your land? Also, can I have that exosuit? The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. I it would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Yeah, it must be somebody else living here. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Builder fragment. Okay, now you can make a habitat builder. What is this? Open data box. A solar panel, that's nice. Um, a bioreactor, that's also pretty nice. What's the purpose room? I want that. Battery charger. We're building a bunch of crap right now, and I like it. Give me... Oh. Oh, I... What? I thought it was exciting. Ah. And... Nice. Let me in here. And... Okay, I can get warmth in here. Close it in. No, there's no manners, you know. Terrapedia, alien intruder, more like alien cheater. Horse with the water, first aid kit. I, mean, I got a, I got a lot of PDAs to read. For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, zeta has been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. Cheating on what? What the f- Man, it's much more Man, I'll give you this jailbroken scanner tool. Thing and said, I need more shower heads. This should be the necessary materials. What? You just told me to keep it on the down low. I guess this is what a master's certificate in applied geology gets you these days. A job as a glorified construction worker. Ugh, I should have studied industrial law like what Dad said. I have to hand into a manual though. I don't know what he did at the scanner, but it does a great job on zeroing on specific minerals. Better than hoping I stumble across the right outcroppings. So that's the mineral detector I learned. 
Ooh, a locker. That's good. Jukebox fragment. Heels. <laughs> yeah, dude. Office chair. Give me that as well. I want it all. Can I crouch? Is there a crouch mechanic in this? Blueprint synthesized. Doesn't seem like there's a crouch mechanic. And am I stuck now? Okay, now we're good. Ooh, modification station. Or damage modification station. That's pretty good. Swivel chair. Um, what? Wait, what? 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 Posters. Say no. Okay, I will say no. Not, not this poster, though. Shaving kit? Red shaving kit. Why, why did I grab that? A fancy shaving kit. Why, why did I need that? Why did I... Oh, I can put it down somewhere. Okay. Having a great time. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids, and we used to play underwater city. Only... Sea monsters aren't pretend, and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache kit, by the way. To be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite! <laughs> okay, so, these people, they don't, they seem pretty, you know, they're just kind of chilling. Jeremiah's bed, Red's bed, they left and they like straight dipped. They didn't even leave the bed out was. Um, the avian curse. Communications tower maintenance log. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. This guy's going crazy. He's been talking to birds and crap. He's losing his damn mind. Keep calm and truck on. He truck. I mean, I'm out of inventory space here. They just eat this egg. I could eat these. That works too. I mean, all these posters. On all of them. Can I get this mug? This is it's, it's a Subnautica mug. Heels, yeah. Alright, well. Out we go then. Daytime now. Um, we'll make it to the radio tower. Well, why would we go up here again? I don't really remember. Bond fishing. Tower maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing someone I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna 
go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status in progress. This is a big ship or the fudge you found. That, that that's a big ship. Also, I'm freezing to death out here. Probably shouldn't have gone inside before I started to read that. Um, satellite surveillance active. Status report. Okay, let's try and let me let me get you know warm before I actually you know read this crap because I'm going to die out here. Um, test override module port. Can I knock it in this place? Oh no, I can't. Um, down, please. I need to. I need a new warmth. Was warm, warm. Oh God. Um. Hypothermia imminent. I'm aware. Whoa! Oh wait. What? I was getting. Oh, there's a plant right here. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um. It's Fanos asked for. Sector Zero region scan. Two active human life were detected. Unauthorized habitat construction and vehicle activity detected. Recommendation. Observe and prepare for possible intervention. Okay, and let me go back up here. Your test mode. Okay, so what's going on with this thing? Test override module port. Uh, can I stab it? I mean, I can, and didn't seem to really do anything. I can't go any higher. Ow! I, I, I don't like how like it, I didn't even get hurt from that. Um. Oh, there's those birds that guys are talking about. Um. Oh, but I guess it's. Oh, so no. I guess it's time for me to leave this place. Who are you? S a sky ray. I guess I have no more business here. Oh, I don't want to fall off the big mountain. Not what I want to do. Well, let's go head back. I guess we can go... Well, let's go down to back down to the distress call, which is... The reasons why we actually came over here. We made a little pit stop to this place. And we're finding a lot of crap. It's down here, actually. Ooh, another, another cave over here? Monk. Ooh, gold. Money, money, money. Oh. You think I could actually drop in here? That's worth about. I'm gonna just eat this sipping egg, dude. Wait, where'd the gold go? We're just rolling away. Oh my god, there's so much. Oh my god. Okay, I want. I'm just gonna grab the gold. Money, money, money. Um, I'll leave the titanium for right now. I want more gold. Okay, I'm full. Crystalline sulfur. I feel like I should grab some of that. I don't really need these posters, do I? Just say no to sky rays. Um... I, hmm. Oh geez, posters. I don't need them anyways. Well, who needs the core anyway, dude? Useless, useless. Ooh, hello? What are you, what are you beeping at? What? The fudge are you beeping at? Oh, 
Um, just fucking water, titanium. Nutrient block, titanium. Trade offer. You receive titanium, I receive nutrient block. Well, I think it's about time that we actually got off this place. That's a flipping big mountain, oh my god. I did not see that before. Those penguins over here. Little peng little penguini. Okay. Let's go ahead and head back to the life pod. Um, so I, I need to figure out a way to store some of this stuff. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna make a little little room. Um where I can just put some lockers in it. So I can store more stuff, because... I need more storage space. Right now. Um, I need some, like, now. And... And we go. I don't have literally a, a woman in an exosuit. What was that oh. woman's problem? The one in the exosuit. Like, I need to say which woman. And what the hell is she doing on this planet? It isn't exactly a happening vacation spot. She knew their terrain well enough to make a dramatic entrance by jumping off a sheer cliff. So I guess she's been here a while. But how long has she been following me? She said to keep away from her or off her land. What in this frozen slush bog could she be protecting? Unless she's camped out somewhere. She's definitely heard of Altera though. Did she meet Sam? Nothing weird's going on on this planet, and I'm not exactly happy about it. Okay, um, I literally don't have a single inch of space to go around. Um, I need one of you. A wiring kit, computer chip, and a battery. Wiring kit. Apparently that also, um, indirectly comes with a thing freezing. Um, a gold, copper wire... And a table coral. That's why I got that table coral. Um, the most insulated storage receptacle for beverages. I mean, I guess I'll make that. Why not? You know. Now I can put something in this. Okay, we'll keep that on us. Um, we need a com copper and two table cores. Computer chip. Um, now I need to make a battery, which is bong bing boom. Battery. And habitat builder. Adding emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. With the builder tool, you can construct sea bases from raw materials, advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. Well, let's put, let's just put a basic little room here. I'm not, I'm just, oh, I can attach stuff to this, can I? Well, this is cool. How, like, it shows you, like, what it's colliding with. It's a lot better than the, than the one in, uh, the first game. So sometimes in the first game, you're just sitting there, and you're just like, why is this thing not letting me place? Let's put a hatch, just put a hatch at the top. Okay. Let me get on in. I just swim into the... the okay. Cancel. Let me in. Warning. Emergency power okay, only. I need to put some Oxygen solar panels on this thing. Offline. Uh, exterior modules, solar panel. I, mean, I need quartz, titanium, and copper. Copper, quartz. Wait, do I have titanium? I do. Let me put this right here so I can actually breathe in the second place. There we go. Down here. Uh, 
Okay. It's just oxygen. And, and I mean, I don't gain oxygen. I don't lose oxygen. Oh, no. I am losing oxygen. Is it nighttime in here? I don't really know. Um, interior pieces. Interior modules. I need... Okay, I need that. Okay. Can you... Is it something... Why'd it have to be nighttime, like, now? Fudge off, you big whatever the fudge you are. Put this right there. That is not. That is not. No. That's as close as I can put it to the wall. So help me God. Okay, there we go. That's a lot better. And then we'll put another one right next to it. Bunk. Bam. Okay. Boom. Lockers. Storage. Okay. That's what we wanted. Storage. We still can't breathe in that place because, well, there's no tipping sun out right now because of the stupid... Is it Mars? It, seem, it seems like right here. Like, it seems so close. Yeah, it's probably really flipped far. Well, I think I'm gonna end this episode of not a couple of zero right here. We made some good progress. We made a base. Kind of. We discovered some stuff. In the next episode, probably gonna search around a little bit more, trying to see what these two places are on about. There the fudge that girl is. Trying to figure out what that sound in particular is. And then I will catch you guys in the next one.